Hi, I'm Brian Preary, tutoring high school chemistry. Today's topic is states of matter. In chemistry, there are four states of matter that you'll need to know about. Solids, liquids, gases, and plasmas. All matter can end up in one of these four phases, so we'll go over them since you'll need to talk about them sometimes. Solids contain a number of very densely packed particles. These particles receive very little motion, and they have a lot of very strong bonds between them. If you're talking entropy, solids don't have very much, and they hardly move around. Liquids are kind of the midpoint. These are a little bit looser than solids. There is a bit more space between these particles, and they move around a bit more. But still, not as strongly packed together as solids. The intermolecular forces, not as strong. Gases, particles are just kind of all over the place, whizzing around at really high speeds. They have very low intermolecular bonds and very high kinetic energy, just kind of flying out there. Plasma is even worse than that. These particles move so fast that when they collide, they actually can knock each other in half. Nuclei will split when two particles in a plasma hit each other. What results is some kind of extremely super hot gooey mass. You can see this in one of two places, stars or a particle accelerator, neither of which are found in most high school laboratories, sadly. So before we move on, there's something I need to talk about. That's STP. When you're working with phases, this will come in handy a lot, because you'll get a lot of questions like, at STP, or at S knowing that this system is at STP, and you'll just have to know what STP is. So we'll break it down. That's standard temperature and pressure. And what exactly is standard temperature and pressure? Well, your standard temperature is 0 degrees Celsius, or 273 kelvins. Simple enough. That's when ice forms. Your standard pressure is 1 atmosphere, or 101.3 kilopascals. If you want to get a sense of what 1 atmosphere feels like, you got it. You're sitting in probably one atmosphere right now, if you're on Earth. If you're not on Earth, I'm probably wrong. So, the last thing to cover in phases is the phase change diagram. That's this thing over here. You've got temperature on the x-axis and pressure on the y-axis. Then you'll have a bunch of lines, and the solid, liquid, and gas phases will be labeled. How to read this thing? Well, you can usually hold one of either pressure or temperature constant. Like starting here, with this much pressure, as you move along, increasing temperature. It will stay in a solid until you reach this point, at which point you'll go straight to a gas. That's unusual, and rarely happens. But when it does, it's called subliming. The opposite way, from gas to a solid, is called deposition. You probably know the other changes, melting, freezing, vaporization, so on and so forth, so I'm not going to go over those. Moving a bit higher, you can see that you can go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, keeping your pressure constant. That's what you normally see. But what if you kept your temperature constant instead, and started changing your pressure? As your pressure decreases, you can go from a solid to a gas, solid to liquid to gas, or even a liquid to gas. Now, this you're probably less familiar with, since your pressure is constant in most places. Well, pressure is what's holding these particles together. Decrease the pressure, and they'll just kind of spread out, becoming a liquid or a gas. That's why you can boil water at maybe 80 degrees Celsius when you're at the top of a mountain. There's not much pressure, so your water becomes gas sooner. Now, the last thing I want to point out is this one part here, where all your lines intersect. That's called the triple point, and if you can get your teacher to show this to you, do it. It's really cool. Right here, your substance will be in all three phases at once. At once, a solid, liquid, and a gas. It looks really cool. I've seen it. Try to get somebody to do that for you. But other than that, that's all I have to say. Recap. States of matter, solid, liquid, gas, plasma. Low kinetic energy, tightly packed. Higher kinetic energy, kind of loose. Very high kinetic energy, particles flying all over plasma, so much kinetic en energy, they're ripping each other apart. You'll need to know what STP is, standard temperature pressure, 0 degrees Celsius, 1 atmosphere. And lastly, know how to read one of these things. Alright, that's all for now. Again, I'm Brian Freer. See you next time.